Good morning, guys. My name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. So in today's episode, we're working on this beautiful 2019 Mercedes E450 convertible. So this is in for our paint enhancement. So no ceramic coatings, but a paint enhancement. We'll put a ceramic sealant on it, but a few other add-ons. It has a beautiful convertible soft top here. So we're going to protect that. We're also going to do a full interior. We have a little bit of shampooing to do on the uh, back seats on the inside, uh, the floorboards that is, not the seats. Everything is leather inside. It's beautiful. We're going to clean this thing up. Guys, if you're enjoying videos like this, and I hope you are, consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss stuff. It is a beautiful morning and we have a beautiful car in for the day. Look at this thing. The color is gorgeous. It has a matching soft top. I'm not a huge fan of soft top convertibles only because they can be annoying to clean, annoying to protect, annoying to maintain these. If they're not maintained well, well, they will get creases, they'll get uh, damage on them, and they just won't look that good. That's just the nature of a soft top convertible. I always prefer a, a hard top convertible, but that's just me. But the color is gorgeous. You'll be able to see it a little bit better once we pull it in and it really is in good shape there's a few light swirls here and there but it's really not too bad it's it's in very good condition we do want to polish it up we're going to protect it we definitely want to protect the inside as well the owner is concerned about a few things on the inside the back floorboards definitely need some shampooing we'll show you those uh, when we get to it but check out the interior of this thing wow this is luxury it's beautiful i love the light wood grain it's gorgeous then you have the burgundy color accents and the dash it's a little shiny on the dash so we're going to clean that see if we can knock down that shine hopefully it's not you know the plastic itself that's just naturally shiny we'll see but we're going to coat all of the leather and vinyl inside here as well so you'll see what we use for that so let's get started on our wash process we're going to do of course our pre-wash the apc rinsing and if you're interested in apc rinsing what that is all about check out the card up there, you'll see a video explaining a little bit more about the APC rinsing. Beep boop, beep boop, beep beep boop, beep boop. Oh, that's looking nice in here.
Mercedes is now washed, deconned. We just finished drying it, hitting all the door jams, hitting the engine compartment, making sure that looks nice and clean. Not really that bad in there. It was just basically to blow out some dust and uh, dress all of the plastic. So that's looking great. Door jams are nice and protected. We used AM detailer. Now this stuff is like a three month sealant. They call it a detailer or Alan calls it a detailer, but this stuff is pretty awesome. It is very, very strong hydrophobic stuff. So it complements his AM sealant over there. Awesome products. So let's look at the interior. It is beautiful. Look at this leather. So we're going to clean the leather with um, most likely Dr. Beasley's products. We have the Dr. Beasley's leather cleaner, fine leather cleaner, and their Opti leather cleaner. We'll probably use the fine leather cleaner and then use leather lock to protect all of the um, you know, leather seats. You can use leather lock up here, but we actually got a new product, well, new to us from Naziol. It's one of their leather protectants. So let's look at the back seat here because this is something that the customer pointed out to us. Oh, and if you noticed, we didn't need to scrub the top here. Why? Because it doesn't need it. Look how pristine it is. And it actually already has some protection on it. It's beating water a little bit, but it did get wet around these edges. So this will take a few hours to dry. And then once it's dry, we will protect all of the fabric top. The fabric top is clean already. Just give it a light vacuum if you need to get some dust and lint off, but you don't need to scrub this if it already looks clean. Some are gonna say, no, you need to deep clean all the fibers and blah, blah, blah. That's up to you. But I've done many of these tops like that and they bead water, they look amazing after everything is done. So you be the judge of that, but don't clean what doesn't need to be cleaned. It's a waste of time, waste of money. If it already looks good, if the customer wants to protect it, that's one thing. Tell them, look, it's not going to need much cleaning, but we'll add protection onto it. That's important. So we will add protection onto the fabric top. But as we look at the interior, this is like the worst area in this vehicle. That's it. So we'll see if we can clean that up. Could be a coffee spill. I don't know if it'll come up completely, but we will extract it and see. Uh, we'll dry shampoo it first. I'm going to show you what the dry shampoo method is. Um, and if that doesn't work, then we'll extract it. So we're going to hit the interior first, get that done so everything is drying. Um, we're not going to put fabric protection down here. I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to protect all of the leather. We are going to use some of the fine leather cleaner from Dr. Beasley's. That's Opti Leather Cleaner, their leather lock. The beauty of the Dr. Beasley's protection products for the interior is that it leaves no noticeable shine or anything like that. And they're not like caustic smelling. So they are good products for that. Uh, we also have their smart fabric. I'm going to use this on the fabric top and then to polish it and protect it. We're going to use the one and done compound and then protect it with the graphene to the max wax. So that's our game plan. If anything changes along the way, you know, you'll see it. We'll let you know, but we usually start out with a game plan like this and we may need to tweak it along the way. Every detailer will, come across certain things that you might need to use an extra compound, or maybe it's too much and we need to use something lighter. Who knows? Mercedes paint is known for being on the medium to hard side. So we'll see how it turns out. As we look at the paint, look how nice it looks. I mean, not heavy swirls, but just very, very light hazing. It just doesn't have the gloss that it should. So we'll fix that.
we're done. No, we're not done yet. We pulled it out because we have to protect the top here. So this was just an option of ours. Ideally, it would have been better to protect the top first and having it dry as we polish the paint, but then you could get dust on it and other things like that. So, you know, this is just one option. Uh, there's different ways of doing this, but what we're going to do is tape around the edges here. Um, and I'll show you what we use to tape and mask things off to protect the paint. It was just polished, we didn't protect it yet. So we're going to spray the top, let it dry a little bit out here because the stuff is strong. It smells really strong. I don't want to spray it in there. So that's why we pulled it out here. Uh, everything is nice and dry. Everything is nice and clean. Now we're just going to tape it and spray it all down, remove all the tape, pull it back in. Oh man, look how nice it looks. Gorgeous. So I have some of this masking tape here that's already pre-attached to plastic. I like using these. They're just easy to use. So just carefully tape around and drape the plastic down. So this drapes down about three feet or so, which is pretty, pretty nice. Now there's different ways of doing this. I know some would pop the top and put the plastic in there and they say it's easier. It's six, one half dozen, the other. It all has to do with what the person wants to do. So it doesn't matter to me. If you suggest, oh, if it would be easier if you did this or that. I've done it both ways. I actually found this to be easier for me. That's all. Nope. Didn't we use aerosol one before or no? Mm-hmm. We did. It was the uh, rag top. This is actually... Oh, this is the version 2. This doesn't smell as alcoholic as before. The other one smelled like really strong alcohol. This doesn't. It was overpowering. Really? Oh yeah, I didn't like oh, it. <laughs> so I gave that a nice heavy application. You can do light applications and do multiple ones. Um, I actually have found that this applies really well if you really kind of saturate the fabric with it. You can work into the fabric if you want, but I have just saturated everything and it'll dry completely. I know there's a little darker spot there. It's a little bit more saturated. It's just because it bumps out here with the brackets. Uh, but this will all dry and you won't even see anything. It dries, you know, completely transparent. The only thing we just had to clean was just the back window here. That's it. Everything else was covered, protected. Um, not much overspray anyway. So a lot of it just gets caught in the air and goes away. And if there's any on the paint, well, we're gonna be protecting the paint in just a moment. So at least it gives you an idea of how the paint looks. Wow, it looks so good, very glossy. And there's no protection, this is just polished. Yeah, that looks awesome. All right, so give this a couple of minutes and then we'll take all the plastic off and pull it back in.
The Mercedes is now done. It is looking incredible. Now we use the graphene to the max wax. Just something to note on that stuff. Um, it does take a certain um, removal application. You can use water. So use a damp towel, use a spritz of water. Sometimes you have to go back over it you know, with towels. Some people like it, some people don't. The thing is the results are impressive. We have it on our Lexus. We actually have the graphene on the passenger side and the stuff beads up like a ceramic coating. It is impressive. So yes, it might be a little finicky to apply or to remove, but hey, sometimes ceramic coatings are too. So this, you can just machine apply, wait a couple of minutes and then use multiple towels, use a damp towel, use a spritz of water, and you can even use you know, a, a quick detailer to remove you know, the excess and, and it'll be completely fine. So this thing is looking incredible. Wheels, tires are done, interior is done. Oh, let me show you what the back um, floor mat area looks like because we did have to shampoo it and I put the fan on it, it dried completely. Uh, so let's take a look at it. And what we used was Koch Chemi Polestar first, just to try to damp shampoo it and see if it would come out. And then I used the Suds Lab interior cleaner. And uh, what you saw in that little pump bottle, this little guy right here, this is actually from Work Stuff. They have these little foaming pump bottles. I put the Suds Lab interior solution full strength in here. So this is for spot cleaning and it comes out like a dry foam. So that I put in certain areas in here to really try to clean it. It looks better, but there are some areas that it's just not gonna come out at all. So it does look good, but there's a stain there. That's permanent, that's not going anywhere. So it could be a coffee or, or a soda stain, something like that. So it just looks much, much better. All right, other than that, that, that was really the worst spot. The rest of it looks nice. And I also protected the floor mats up in the front here. So those are outside drying. The convertible top looks perfect. Looks so nice. It's drying now and by, well, this evening, the, the customer is gonna bring it home this evening. We don't have any rain in the forecast. It's nice and dry out. It will dry perfectly in time. Well guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Of course, I'll have the products to the tools of the products, uh, the links to the products and the tools down below. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. You don't miss stuff. So mean. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time. You're mean. Do the eyebrow. No, that's not it. <laughs>